Hello, Shane here from Kelly's. I'm joined today by Damien Early from Crown Paint. Welcome, Damien. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. You're welcome. Uh, and we're going to talk about painting your house, painting your front door, uh, window sills, all the frequently asked questions that people say to me. Right, I live right by the coast, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and so we all do. Uh, and it's lovely, isn't it? So, Damien, painting your house, what yes. would you recommend? Just Right, if we're going to paint our exterior walls, quite simply, I would recommend Santex. Okay. So Santex will give you up to 15 years uh, trusted durability, proven okay. durability, um, as long as the walls are prepared properly. Okay. So once you've uh, once you've cleaned your walls down, you've made sure there's no loose flaky material, you can put on our Santex Micro Seal Masonry Paint straight onto it. All right. And that will do you a brilliant job for you. And it comes in a range of colors. There's about 30 ready-made colors, but you can also get that mixed in hundreds of colors. So you can really have it bespoke to your personal needs. One thing I would say is that if your house is in a really exposed part of the coast or you happen to live on the top of the Moor Mountains, which we're not too far away from, yes, you may need to upgrade to a more robust system. So Santex is a fabulous system. Under normal weathering conditions, it will last upwards of 15 years. You may have to upgrade to... We don't have normal weather systems right here. Well, we have a product we called Santex Extreme Exposure okay. that you can use. It's almost a 100% acrylic paint. So that's the difference between it and most other masonry paints. Most other masonry paints will have a certain level of acrylic. Santex Extreme Exposure is a 100% acrylic. It's self-priming. Yeah. It is a little bit more expensive, but it will outlast any other masonry paint on the market. It's the one that we actually use on our lighthouses. So when you see the lighthouse on the front of the Santex 10 on the brochure, that's the paint that it's actually painted in. Right. Well, so if it's good enough for a lighthouse. Exactly. It's good enough for the front shore and the point. Exactly. <laughs> it, it will certainly outlast your normal Santex. Right. Brilliant. Now, uh, what else do we get asked? Yes, the paint keeps f uh, flaking off my window sills. Right. What am I going to do? That's a common common problem. It is. Most people will just paint their window sills with, again, a standard water-based masonry paint. Yeah. Uh, whether it be one of ours or, or other brands that are out there. What we would recommend is you need something a little bit more robust. It, it's, a, it's a horizontal system, or a hor, hor, more or less horizontal surface. Yep. It gets a lot of rain sitting on top of it, so the rain will basically penetrate through it, um, hit the hard con con concrete and come back up, and it'll just blow your paint. So right. you need something to stop that from happening. What we would recommend, there's two things you can use. We can use an oil-based masonry paint, such as McPherson's Parkoat. Okay. This is self-priming, so you yep. can put this straight onto it. So once you've scraped your... Uh, Plyolite play play is something that yes. uh, yeah, we'll be familiar with. with yeah. Yes, so this is a, a Plyolite-based, re, Plyolite resin-based masonry paint. It's an okay. oil-based masonry paint. It's self-priming. There's no need to put, use anything else. You just simply scrape your, uh, your sills right back to a nice solid surface. Make sure that there's no loose flaky material. Make sure. Uh, that would you use like them. a wire brush or no? Wire we, wool? no? I wouldn't recommend using a wire brush or wire wood. I would just use a scraper. Scrape it back, and then if you have to get a sand, just get a decent piece of exterior sandpaper. Okay. Or high grade sandpaper, and give it a good rub down. Okay. Just make sure it's clean. If there's any dust, make sure that that's all brushed off. Yeah. And once you've got it back to a nice sound solid surface two coats of this and it will last significantly longer. Excellent. The other option you have Go on. is this one. You can prime it again. Once you've prepared it the way I've spoke about before, you can put a coat of PX4 primer onto it. This is a water-based primer. Fabulous multi-surface pr primer for, for more or less anything. Yeah. Um, one coat of that and then use our fast flow system. So you've got our Crown Trade fast flow quick dry primer undercoat. Again, a coat of that, and then you can finish it with one of our fast flow finishes. So you've got the, the fast flow gloss, if you like that nice high gloss finish, yeah. or you've got your fast flow satin if you want to go for a duller, flatter finish. Yeah. So either well, of those... We, we can mix them to any colors. So You can mix those to any yeah. colors you want. Beauty of that system, because it's a, an Alcat acrylic, it's fast drying, it's low odor, so you technically could get all three coats done on one day. There you are. Whereas with this, with the power coat, fabulous system, but you're only going to get one coat on in a day because it's it you can re you can only recoat it after 16 hours. Yeah. Well, because of the so wonderful weather we get in this country, sure, you know it's not going to rain for a whole 24 hours. Exactly. Exactly. So, exactly. So, yeah. So um, either option. 
That Either option is available, folks. <laughs> and that is one of the benefits of the fast food system, particularly in this country, is that you can get all, all your, your job done in one day, yeah. and you're not having to worry about it rain overnight. Excellent. So it'll be done. Excellent. Now, I've looked at these products now for uh, a wee while, yep. and I've just wondered to myself, why would people pay the extra money for the Santex satin or the Santex gloss? What's, what's so good about, about these products? Right. The key thing is durability. Um, a standard oil-based gloss yep. will start to break down roughly after three to four years. Okay. Now, you may not notice it, but that's, that's the process it'll start to go through. With the likes of your 10-year gloss or your 10-year satin, you're looking upwards of eight years before that process starts. It's much more flexible. So for example, if we use this on our doors or our facey and soffit boards outside, if we've still got wooden ones, yes. these, will get, these will flex with the timber. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're much, much more flexible, hence why they last significantly longer. <laughs> now, that, that's the key reason. So you've got your 10-year primer undercoat, you've got your 10-year satin, your 10-year gloss. If you use those together, yeah. you're looking upwards of eight years protection rather than a standard oil-based system. Okay, and if you've got plastic, it seems to be PVCU primer. Yes. If you've got the fish and soft it and it's looking a bit old and tired. Absolutely. Just prime it with that. Yep, two coats of that little product there. Yep. Are PVCU primer. The two coats of that on the nice clean UPVC. So once you've you've made sure you've cleaned it down, what I would recommend to clean it with is methylated spirits. Okay. Reason we recommend methylated spirits is it's an incredibly efficient degreaser, so it'll really take the grease off. But one of the other key reasons is it's also it evaporates completely. You don't have to wash it off. Yeah. If we were to use the likes of a white spirits, okay, we then have to wash the white spirits off. Okay, what's methylated we, spirits? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you might as well just use metal in this part. So yeah, two coats of that, and then you can go on with any system. And then you can now, go with the fast flow then, or the satin or the gloss oh, over, the, over the top of that. To be honest, what I would recommend, because UPVC expands and contracts quite a lot, yes. I would actually recommend the likes of the 10-year gloss, 10-year satin, okay. or our Flexi Gloss system within the Santex trade. Well, there you go. That brings us on to the Flexi Gloss, yeah. because I was going to ask you about that. So, um, Flexi Gloss, go on. So Flexi Gloss is the trade version of this. Okay. So it's designed again to be highly flexible with, uh, with, with timber and, and UPVC. So if you've primed your UPVC with the primer, yeah. then that's an excellent, um, an excellent product to actually finish it with. Okay. So again, you need to use the flexible primer undercoat and the flexi gloss. <laughs> so with a lot of these systems, you have to make sure you use the right products. Yeah. If I was to use a standard undercoat, then I'm wasting my time putting a flexi gloss because you've got a You've got a flexible An exterior flexible surface yeah. underneath it. Right, so you okay. need to use the two together. If you use the two together, you'll get the performance that it's designed for. Fantastic. And the beauty of that is it comes in bases. You can get that mixed in any, any color. Mixed in any, any color. And that only comes in about seven colors. Okay. So. Well, seven colors is plenty. There's too many bloody colors. That is very true. Um, stabilizing solution. Now, tell me what that's for specifically, please. Right, stabilizing solution. If you've had problem walls, so you've got paint that's flaking off the exterior the exterior walls of your house. Yes, of course. You've scraped it down. You've got it right back to a nice sound surface, and you, then you rub your hand over the surface, and it's your hand. Yeah, that is right. choppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs stabilized. So that's when you would use stabilizing solution. So you follow the instructions on the back of the tin in terms of dilution, and you put one coat of stabilizing solution on. Okay. It's very important you follow the instructions. If you over stabilize, you'll actually end up with quite a shiny surface and the paint won't stick to it. Right, gotcha. So it's just one of those things you have to make sure you get the dilution on it right. Once it's that, you put your two coats of masonry paint over the top. Yeah. And Best that's your job done. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, okay, um, front doors. Front doors. Front doors, we've actually spoken about a couple of products that you can use on front doors as well. So I'll we'll take you back over here. Yeah, yeah. We can use our fast flow system. Yes. So one of the real benefits of using this on your, on your front door, if it's bare timber, we can simply go on with our fast flow primer undercoat, which yeah. is this one. So one to two coats of that, and then two coats of our finish, whether we want a satin finish or our gloss. Now, we spoke earlier on about that being quick drying. One of the benefits of painting on a front door, I can get my job done on one day, and when I close it at seven o'clock that night, I don't get that little line 
one yeah. inch in from the uh, edge of the door. Or you spend half an hour trying to open the door in the morning because it's exactly stuck. Exactly, it's stuck. That's exactly <laughs> it. That, yeah. that little system does yeah. away from that. Now, if you want something that's going to even outlast that, yeah. then you would upgrade to your 10 year exterior gloss okay. or your 10 year exterior satin. So again, it's about that preparation. You make sure your door, you sand your door down, clean it down with methylated spirits. Um, well, say you had a hardwood mahogany door or yeah. whatever, and there's, over the years, there's 38 coats of varnish have been put on it, um, and you're sick of the cut, and you want to paint it. Right, if, we're, if, we're, if you've got varnish on it, yeah. we quick rub down with a, with a light sandpaper just to break the key, and again, go back to our wee friend here, PX4. PX4 primer, you can put that straight over the top of it. Oh, you don't need to take it back to bare wood or anything? No, you don't. Oh, just okay. break, the, break the key on the top of it, and then use that wee one there on top. Again, quick drying, you can overcoat that in an hour. Yeah, and you, you see then for, um, I know a lot of people are, have got um, the PVC doors. Yes. Again, the same rules as the fascia. You paint it with a PVC primer, and then go on to either 100%. the fast flow or the sun. Yes, Excellent. you PVC primer, your pr fast flow primer undercoat and your top coat, or you PVC primer, your 10 year primer undercoat, and then either your 10 year gloss or your 10 year satin yeah. are one of the Well, yeah, imagine then your front door, it's going to expand and contract and flex and all that. Yes. Are, same as your face, you'd be better off with these. Yeah, you're going to get anything like that is going to significantly outlast even the likes of our fast flow system yeah. or your standard oil based gloss system. That's going to last the most. Okay. So you're looking upwards of 10 years before you'll need to redo it again. Right. Fantastic. Uh, I think we've all learned something there. I know I have. Um, Anything else you'd like to think or you can think of? I think we've covered it, haven't we? I think we've covered most of most of the issues that we can get outside. Yes. So. Okay. Fantastic. All right, folks. Um, any other questions, you can email them to somebody else because we've covered the whole lot. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs>